And now to Faulkner County, seeing record low numbers at the regional jail. Like many others in the state, it had been struggling with too many inmates and not enough space for years. THV 11's Vanessa Page takes a closer look at what this pandemic reveals. The population of inmates has decreased by about 50%. It's a big change for the county, which has dealt with overcrowding in the past. A high number of detainees has been an ongoing problem in Faulkner County for a decade. We're seeing an increase in people being brought to jail, even though we're being very selective on who is who is being accepted into the jails. Because of COVID-19, the number of inmates has gone down a whole lot. Early March, we had approximately 380 adult inmates and this morning we had about 180 adult inmates in custody. They're working with the state to keep the population low and keep the virus outside of their walls. This is a lot of this has been attributed to um, we've sent several sentenced inmates to ADC as they have had space, but also several of the cases that we had detainees that were in custody, their cases were resolved in the courts. They hope this will eventually help save needed funds. Reducing our population has been helpful as far as um, the overcrowding issues that we we were experiencing. Um, it's not as much of a realization in funds that that it would immediately appear. But right now they're spending money they normally wouldn't need to. While we may be spending less money on food, uh, or, or other housing costs like that. We are also increasing our spending in sanitizing um, supplies and PPE purchases. As of Wednesday, they haven't had any confirmed or presumed positive cases among staff or detainees. In Faulkner County, I'm Vanessa Page, THV 11 News. Jail administrators hope they'll be able to keep the numbers low once the pandemic eases.